Okay, I don't think we vlogged yesterday, so I guess that's a day missed in the vlog, but no big deal, it was just a rest day. Yesterday, no, the day before yesterday, we crushed 26.4 kilometers from the Porcupine Campground to here, the Big Springs BR9 Campground. Yep. And now we're leaving here to get our last resupply, and after today, there's three more days. Oh yeah. So we're at about an hour, probably less, of hiking to our resupply. Yep. Get food there, get battery packs there, toilet paper there. Then we move on, and at camp tonight, we're meeting the rest of the outdoorsy dudes. Oh yeah. Uh, Connor, Brennan, and Rex, who are gonna cook us some burgers. Oh, and they're gonna cook for us for four meals in total. Hell so yeah. that'll be nice. Anyways, we have a short little jaunt to our resupply location. Uh, today's distance, 16.4K, pretty much all flat, and the final destination is the Burstall Campground, still in Banff. And then tomorrow we'll cross into Height of the Rockies and stay at Beatty Lake. Next day, North Over Ridge to Astor Lake. And then the next day we head out, oh my god! The hours are long and the days are short. Yeah. That was Liam's quote at the beginning of the trip. Yeah. And it rings true. It does, watch out for shit. Anyways, I shouldn't vlog too long because the phone's nearly dead. And without the phone, we can't use the Garmin messaging. And without that, if we don't find the resupply crew, we'll just have to go to the trailhead. And that would suck. That would suck. Anyways, we will hit you back when we have some power banks to charge up on. Here we go, heading down the Spray River Valley towards Burstall Campground, towards Palliser Pass that we'll go over tomorrow, towards burgers from Brennan. And it should all be very yummy. We just had a resupply from Alistair and Susie and Tiffany. They brought us some excellent snacks and food and charged batteries and all that good stuff. Good stuff, man. I just tripped on a tree root. Uh, lathered up, washed off some stuff in the creek there. Uh, this shirt that I'm wearing, it was on its 12th day, no wash, so I gave it a wash. Yeah. And I'm already sweating in it, so. So yeah, that's how it goes. That's how it goes when you're the hardcore dudes. That's what some guys called us on day five. Yeah. Anyways, another, I think 12K-ish to tonight's camp, to tonight's burgers, tonight's outdoorsy dudes to hang out with. And, uh, yeah, it's really feeling like this trip is going to complete itself, you know? Yeah. Around day five, I had a lot of worries, especially with that McDonald's. It was like, oh, are we going to finish this thing? But now there's only three days ahead of us. It's like, breeze, man. Breeze! And we got our buddies bringing us better food. So that'll boost the morale. Play cards with them tonight. That'll boost the morale. You know? Yeah. So it's... Looking like we're good, and my pack feels great today. I think it's because I uh, I ditched a down jacket that I hadn't used at all, and I still had a second extra one. So now my compression sack for my sleeping bag goes sideways, and everything else packs a little better. I was able to put the denser stuff closer to my back, and it's symmetrical. For the whole first part of the trip, it was kind of leaning one side my right hip was really feeling it, but now it's now it's good. What about you, Liam? How's your pack feeling? Pack's felt good all trip, man. What about the legs? Legs are good. Knees, knees yeah, hips. Knees are sore on Liam. Yeah. I got a sore hip. I'm like an old man. But we confirmed it with our resuppliers. We have some, or I have some family in town on the 20th on our last day. So we're actually gonna go stay at a hotel with them for one night. And we're hoping that spa's open. On the way back. Might get a massage. That'll be my first massage in my whole life. Yeah, same. So be, if COVID. Oh, well, yeah, if COVID permits. Because living out here in the woods, I kind of forgot about the whole COVID thing. Yeah. Which was nice for a while. But, yeah, go back into the real world. Everyone's going to be like, reality. you have the virus. You've been in the woods for two weeks. You must have the virus. Yeah. Oh, shit. Anyways. Yeah, so that's a good vlog entry, I think. Ooh. Caught you guys up. We will hit you back at camp or maybe one time before we get to camp.
We're 3K from the junction of White Man Pass and the Spray River Trail. We have another seven to get to Burstall Campground. I'll grab that from you. Thank you. And it's hot out today. We have hot legs and sweaty faces. I've never had hot legs before, but I do now. But luckily, the elevation's pretty minimal. 7K, we could probably do that in sub two hours, maybe even an hour and a half if we were feeling, feeling fancy. But there's no need to rush. Our dinner will be there for us when we get there. Thank you, Brennan. Um, and then thank you, Rex and Connor, for doing the meals after that. Mm -hmm. Got anything to add to the vlog, folks? Mm, not too much. Not too much? How you feeling in terms of, like, soreness level? I'm fine, it's tidy. Yeah, fair enough. The soreness kind of goes away mm. after a while, and it just becomes life. Mm. So, yeah, this is our trail. A couple little trees along the way kind of blocking the trail, but not that big a deal. Not that big a deal. Well signed, all that. Now let's just push for burgers. Yeah. Is everybody in the shot? Yeah. Did I, did I get all five of you? Yeah. Oh yeah. All five outdoorsy dudes on one trip? Yeah. We got all the outdoorsy dudes together for a trip finally. Brennan's only here one night, but still counts. So four of us are moving on to Beatty tomorrow, then Aster for Liam and I, and then out. Woo. We're on day 12 of 15. And we're headed to Lehman Lake for a swim and a fly fish. Should be cool.